Hey guys, I've got a fun page in my traveler's notebook today for you using the At My Table Life Crafted Kit from Citrus Twist. When I was going through the die cut pack uh, for my project life, I noticed this uh, phrase in there, you are all heart, and I super wanted to use that with this photo of Lil. So I've already pulled that out. I pulled it out to make sure that I remembered to use it. Uh, and on the back of that pack, it did show that there were some little heart die cuts in there. So obviously that's gonna go with the title. In fact, that's gonna be the whole theme of my page. So I'm just going through all of these die cuts to pull out all of the heart ones that are in there. There is that strip of hearts, but that's not gonna work for the ideas that I've got here. Now the thing is, I'm not gonna use that entire phrase. I'm gonna create my own using two of those words, all heart, and I'm gonna create a page of hearts on the left-hand side. So there's plenty of hearts in this kit. There are some puffy sticker hearts, there's some gold hearts, and out of these die-cut hearts, I'm gonna use three of them. The rest were kind of a uh, sort of plaid pattern that didn't really go with my color scheme or I didn't enjoy it. So I'm gonna create my own just with a few little punches. I've got a couple of little heart punches and they're a different style of heart to the die cut and the stickers in the pack, but I'm not really worried about it. There's gonna be all sorts of hearts in here and I'm gonna use them all equally. So. I'm just gonna go through some of the pattern papers in the pack and I've flipped my punch over here so that I can selectively punch out just the tearly parts of some of these patterns. Uh, there's a few different patterns in the pack and I am gonna go through just a few of them and punch out a couple of big hearts and a couple of smaller hearts. I definitely won't end up using all of these but um, that's where I'm gonna start. So I've got some teal and it's not really pink, it's more sort of a corally Coralie sort of peachy color scheme uh, and that's what I'm going to work with. So once I've got all of those hearts punched out, I'm going to um, just grab a scrap piece of paper rather than working directly into my notebook. This is just a piece I keep trimmed. It's the same size as a traveler's notebook page, four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Uh, and I'm going to work on that because what I want to do is stitch these hearts onto the page. So I'm just going to create some guidelines for myself by using a ruler and a pencil to just rule some very, very light lines. You want them as light as possible. Um, they will end up being invisible but you want them as light as possible to start off with and I'm not measuring anything out I'm kind of just randomly drawing some lines some are further apart than others I kind of like that um, hodgepodgey kind of heckledy pickledy look and then I'm going to start arranging these hearts on those lines so I'm bearing in mind the size of the hearts and the color of them um, at the moment they're just they're just sitting on the paper they're not stuck down so this is your chance to sort of play around um, and find an arrangement that's pleasing to your eye I'm just trying to make sure that the colors and the size are varied around the page and then not everything's um, super uniform I just want it to be very mixed looking and like I said I don't end up using all of those punched hearts because I pull out the puffy sticker ones um, and the page fills up really quick so I definitely don't need all the punched ones. Now you can see I'm trying to choose colors from the puffy stickers that sort of go with my color scheme which is that sort of minty corally color, uh, sorry minty tealy green color and coral. There's a little bit of pink mixed in there and I'm adding any sort of um, textured ones. There's a couple of hearts with some stripes on it so I'm adding those as well. The die cut ones have polka dots but just trying to get a sort of variety in them. And I play around for a little bit and there are some spots that kind of look empty. Uh, I do add a couple, I think I add three of these gold ones, three is my number. Uh, and then there are still a few spots that look a little bit empty. So I do shuffle some of the paper ones out and move them around. Um, I like the arrangement of the colour but I do need a little bit something else and I'm going to add a few of these like stronger teal ones just punching them from the smaller punch just for little pops of colour and then I went and grabbed some vellum from my stash and I'm going to punch some hearts from the vellum as well. This will add a nice texture but not necessarily any extra colours. Um, 
or busyness. It just kind of fills in those visual blanks uh, without adding too much more to it. So once I filled in most of those gaps with the vellum, I did notice that there was a little heart stamp in the um, add-on stamp this month. So I actually cut the stamp, I cut the heart piece off the phrase so that I could just stamp the heart without having to partially stamp everything. Uh, and then I can go ahead and stick all of these little hearts down, which probably took the most time on this layout. I am going to stitch everything down so I don't need to add a heap of glue. I'm just adding one tiny little dot from my glue pen in behind each heart. But it's going to make it so much easier to do that stitching um, if everything is adhered down. So now you can see when I put the two pages together, I want to add some black onto that left hand side. I've got a black and white photo and the sentiments in black. I just want to tie those two pages together a little bit more. So I am going to use that heart stamp to do a little bit of stamping and I'm going to do black ink. So I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black and I will say the ink pad is a little bit dry. It's very old um, and so the black's kind of splotchy and almost grey, which is a happy accident. I like that even more because it just gives even more texture to the page. And so I am stamping on top of those lines as well to make sure that they're centered uh, for the stitching. And I did end up pulling off one of those little vellum hearts and stamping instead. And then I ran that through my sewing machine really, really carefully so that I was stitching exactly on top of the pencil marks. And that way I don't have to erase anything. That's what I meant about keeping those lines really, really light. And then if you're really, really careful with your sewing machine, you completely cover up all of those guidelines and you just have this really pretty texture um, from the stitching. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could totally hand stitch this. I have done a page like that before. It takes a little bit of time, but actually you end up with even more texture and it is a beautiful technique to use. So literally all I've got left to do now for this page is just to stick it in. So I'm adding a little bit of tape printer around the outside of the pages and then I can go ahead and stick that onto the left side of my notebook. There's very little um, height to this page. The puffy stickers are the sort of the highest part of it. So I'm not adding too much bulk to the page, but a lot of beautiful texture. And then again, to tie those two pages together, I'm gonna mount my photo on that same orangey coral colored paper, just to give a little bit of color to the right hand side as well and tie those two pages together. You can see the difference it makes there. I'm not adding any journaling to this page because I mean, the photo pretty much says it all along with the title. Uh, the title I am gonna add to, so the moment it says all heart and I'm gonna use the little teal and gold alphas from the Kit, um, to change the sentiment to all of my heart um, but first I want to stick the first word down so I've sort of laid those two pieces out where I think they fit nicely and then I've glued the top one down I've glued down all and I'm gonna really carefully place these alphas underneath I'm not sticking anything down um, permanently yet just really gently popping them down and then I can make sure everything fits before I glue down the second word on my page. I have learnt my lesson, the tweezers do help. <laughs> um, and so you can see I can shuffle that all heart, the, the heart piece around to make sure that it all fits. I'm just moving those alphas over so they sit really nicely under the all and then I can go ahead and glue heart down. Now a little bit of that is going to overhang onto my photo and I'm totally okay with that. That's just because I printed my photo at 3x4 so it doesn't all fit nicely and I just think it adds a little bit of balance to the page. I do want to add some more colour though so I was looking at maybe adding a couple of the punched pieces I didn't use but in the end I'm going to cheat because it's easier just to add a couple of puffy stickers and that brings a little bit of the pink back onto this page and I'm going to do the same with the gold. I'm going to add a little bit of gold to tie everything all together and I super love this page. It just turned out exactly how I wanted it to. That's rare for me um, but there's so much texture, so much colour and I think it really highlights the beautiful pieces in this kit. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching there's a couple more videos on screen or why not subscribe to my Patreon page, there are even more videos over there. Otherwise I will see you guys next time, bye!